the Army is now engineering a far superior M1A2 SEP version 4 Abrams tank variant for the 2020s and beyond, designed to be more lethal, faster, lighter weight, better protected, equipped with new sensors and armed with upgraded, more effective weapons, service officials said. Advanced networking technology with next-generation sites, sensors, targeting systems and digital networking technology, are all key elements of an ongoing upgrade to position the platform to successfully engage in combat against rapidly emerging threats, such as the prospect of confronting a Russian T-14 Armada or Chinese third-generation Type 99 tank. The SCP version 4 variant, slated to being testing in 2021, will include new laser rangefinder technology, color cameras, integrated onboard networks, new slip rings, advanced meteorological sensors, ammunition data links, laser warning receivers and a far more lethal, multi-purpose 120mm tank round, Major General David Bassett, Program Executive Officer, Ground Combat Systems, told Scout Warrior in an interview last year. While Army officials explain that many of the details of the next-gen systems for the future tanks are not available for security reasons, Bassett did explain that the lethality upgrade, referred to as an engineering change proposal, or ECP, is centered around the integration of the higher-tech third-generation FLIR, forward-looking infrared imaging sensor. The advanced FLIR uses higher resolution and digital imaging along with an increased ability to detect enemy signatures at farther ranges through various obscurants such as rain, dust or fog, Bassett said. A combination of mid-wave and long-wave sensors allow for better target identification at long ranges and better resolution at shorter ranges, Bassett explained. Higher definition sensors allow army crews to, for instance, Better distinguish an enemy fighter or militant carrying an AK-47. Improved FLIR technologies also help tank crews better recognize light and heat signatures emerging from targets such as enemy sensors, electronic signals or enemy vehicles. This enhancement provides an additional asset to a tank commander's independent thermal viewer. Rearview sensors and laser detection systems are part of these upgrades as well. Also. Newly configured meteorological sensors will better enable Abrams tanks to anticipate and adapt to changing weather or combat conditions more quickly, Bassett explained. You do not have to manually put meteorological variables into the fire control system. It will detect the density of the air, relative humidity and wind speed and integrate it directly into the platform, Bassett explained. The emerging M1A2 SCP version 4 will also be configured with a new slip ring leading to the turret and onboard Ethernet switch to reduce the number of needed boxes by networking sensors to one another in a single vehicle. Also, some of the current electronics, called line replaceable units, will be replaced with new line replaceable modules including a commander's display unit, driver's control panel, gunner's control panel turret control unit and a common high-resolution display, information from General Dynamics Land Systems states. The M1A2 SCP version 4 will carry advanced multi-purpose 120mm ammunition round able to combine a variety of different rounds into a single tank round. The AMP round will replace four tank rounds now in use. The first two are the M830, High Explosive Anti-Tank, or HEAT, Round and the M830A1, Multipurpose Anti-Tank, or MPAT, Round. The latter round was introduced in 1993 to engage and defeat enemy helicopters, specifically the Russian Hind helicopter, Army developers explained. The MPAT round has a two-position fuse, ground and air, that must be manually set, an Army statement said. The M1028 canister round is the third tank round being replaced. The canister round was first introduced in 2005 by the Army to engage and defeat dismounted infantry, specifically to defeat close human wave assaults. Canister rounds disperse a wide range of scattering small projectiles to increase anti-personnel lethality and, for example, destroy groups of individual enemy fighters. The M908, Obstacle Reduction Round is the fourth that the AMP round will replace, 
It was designed to assist in destroying large obstacles positioned on roads by the enemy to block advancing mounted forces, Army statements report. AMP also provides two additional capabilities, defeat of enemy dismounts, especially enemy anti-tank guided missile, or ATMG, teams at a distance, and breaching walls in support of dismounted infantry operations. Bassett explained that a new ammunition data link will help tank crews determine which round is best suited for a particular given attack. Rather than having to carry different rounds, you can communicate with the round before firing it, Bassett explained. Some of the upgrades woven into the lethality enhancement for the M1A2 SCP version 4 have their origins in a prior upgrades now underway for the platform. Accordingly, the lethality upgrade is designed to follow on to a current mobility and power upgrade referred to as an earlier or initial ECP. Among other things, this upgrade adds a stronger auxiliary power unit for fuel efficiency in onboard electrical systems, improved armor materials, upgraded engines and transmission in a 28-volt upgraded drive system. This first act, slated to begin production by 2017, is called the M1A2 SEP version 3 variant. This ECP-1 effort also initiates the integration of upgraded ammunition data links in electronic warfare devices such as the counter-remote-controlled improvised explosive device, electronic warfare, crew. An increased AMP's alternator is also part of this upgrade, along with Ethernet cables designed to better network vehicle sensors together. The Abrams is also expected to get an advanced force tracking system which uses GPS technology to rapidly update digital moving map displays with icons showing friendly and enemy force positions. My name is Captain Joseph Thomas. The system, called Joint Battle Mark Command Mark Platform, uses an extremely fast Blue Force Tracker 2 SATCOM network able to reduce latency and massively shorten refresh time, having rapid force position updates in a fast-moving combat circumstance quite naturally, could bring decisive advantages in both mechanized and counter-insurgency warfare. Objected at Table 5, which is an opportunity for them to shoot and test their systems. This is just a stepping stone for the rest of the qualifications that the soldiers will achieve, Table 9 being the section, Table 12 being the platoon, and then eventually we'll execute the company CalFX, which is the company qualification that we're all looking forward to. I couldn't be more proud of my soldiers in the way they're performing. We've got pretty good throughput so far. And uh, the scores are coming back, and they're doing really, really well. These guys are setting themselves up to be superior uh, crewmen and, and distinguished crewmen. Ghost is a revolutionary marine platform developed and built by Juliet Marine Systems, a private American company located in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Juliet Marine's technologies will dramatically change the marine industry's understanding of propulsion for surface and subsurface, manned and unmanned vessels. Ghost is designed and built to address the growing international threat of combatant swarm attacks, waterborne IEDs, and piracy. 
Ghost technology is suitable for fleet force protection, special operations, ISR, command and control, and mine warfare and detection. Ghost is a fast, agile, long-range, supercavitating, semi-submersible surface craft. As a small water plane area, twin hull, or swath, it is comprised of three main structures, two movable underwater buoyant tubular foil hulls, and a command module that rides above the water on two thin connecting struts. Ghost has a crew of three, a pilot, a weapons officer, and a crew engineer. Ghost's command module weapons bay, in its current configuration, can accommodate 18 personnel, or cannons and missile technologies, such as the Griffin, APKWS, and Spike, deployed from internal weapons bays or from the skin of the craft, like an attack helicopter. Ghost was developed as a long-range coastal patrol vessel for geographic locations such as the Straits of Hormuz, the Malacca Straits, the South China Sea, the Gulf of Aden, Taiwan, and Korea, and has an extremely long range to accomplish missions and patrols in these areas. Ghost could also be used by the U.S. Coast Guard and other security forces for patrol, rescue, and counter-drug operations. Ghost, in its current configuration, weighs approximately 48,000 pounds. The craft disassembles into three main components, two struts and buoyant tubular foils and a command module, and can be flown on a C-17 and reassembled in 24 hours with a transport trailer. Ghost can be moved by rail or over the road. Ghost can also be transported and deployed using ships or the well decks of LPDs, LSDs, and LHDs. It could also be sea-based from a barge. Ghost propulsion uses aviation quality reliable gas turbine engines that provide unmatched reliability with 10,000 hours of operation prior to major overhaul. An engine propulsion change takes just two hours to be mission ready. Ghost jet propulsion engines, fuel systems, operational computers and controls are located underwater and thus are protected from enemy weapons. Ghost can operate unmanned and its size and payload can be scaled up or down depending on application and mission needs. Ghost has a revolutionary hull design that can transform while underway to provide either the best configuration for sea keeping for slow speed operation or the best configuration for high speed to provide wave isolation between the hulls and command module. This elevation of the command module above the sea surface results in a smooth ride eliminating the debilitating impact injuries inherent in planing hull craft in use today. Ghost gets the warrior to the battle, fit to fight, not fatigued from the G-forces absorbed in transit in planing craft. In addition, this isolation of the center hull command module from the wave action of the sea surface provides a much more stable base for a weapon system, increasing accuracy and effectiveness. Ghost is designed to carry a weapons or sensor payload to accommodate anti-swarm, force protection, special operations, ISR, and command and control missions. Ghost's weapons bay doors can accommodate 20 millimeter Gatling guns and multiple rocket missile systems. The Ghost Moon Pool can be used to deploy and recover UUVs and mine countermeasure systems. Ghost currently has a reduced signature and future Ghosts can be designed to have a very low radar, noise and heat signature. Ghost has game-changing range, cruise speeds, sprint speeds and payload capacity. Two gas turbine engines generate abundant electrical power to serve the warfighter requirements for a wide array of mission needs with varied payload modules. This advanced proven design allows for longer range missions longer loiter time on target, and cruise security in either the turbine or hybrid drive mode. Ghost's unique aircraft-like manufacturing concept allows for fabrication of all major structures at outlying qualified sheet metal fabrication companies providing for very competitive, low-cost manufacturing. Ghost's innovative design and fabrication techniques, coupled with game-changing fuel efficiency, translate into lower total ownership costs and unrivaled operational characteristics. The Ghost's high-speed, stable ride, endurance, and easily reconfigurable payload provide the punch and maneuverability of an aircraft with days of on-station time to assure sea space dominance for today and tomorrow's warfighter. Ghost, the platform of choice.
for fleet force protection, special operations, and ISR missions.